，下一位呢，係狮子山学会阿蒲小姐。Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. At the Lion Rock Institute, we believe that immigration is the map to our future, and through it, we shape the society that we want the next generation to live in. A population policy must consider two things. Number one would be who we want our neighbours to be, and number two, what do we want Hong Kong to mean? Under the current dependent visa scheme, a Hong Kong resident may sponsor a non-Chinese dependent spouse or child if they can prove they can financially support them. So why don't we have the same requirement for mainland entrants under the one-way permit scheme? Some members of the administration say that family reunion should be the priority objective in population policy. But if family reunion is at the expense of attracting talents and quality immigrants, it will be the end of Hong Kong as we know it. If we allow mainland spouses of Hong Kong residents to come in regardless of what they do, and then we let these people reach out for CSSA benefits after one year of staying here, there will be more people being pulled by the welfare wagon and less people pulling it. So it all comes down to this: Who do you want your neighbour to be, and what kind of Hong Kong do you want to live in? What kind of Hong Kong do you want your, your kids to have? If skills and self-sufficiency are not the explicit criteria by which we accept who lives in our neighbourhood, but instead we have a directionless population policy based on family reunion, Hong Kong will become so poor that no one would want to start a family here. And so we must reform the one-way permit system now to introduce financial assessment and to attract skills and talents. Failure to do so will create a future generation which is uncompetitive, entitled, and upset. Dr. Jusek. Oh, Dr. Pu.